Welcome to the last day of shearing school, and I still don't know 100% where to put my feet. And this pretty little Jacob really wants to get back to her twins. You can see that she is full of milk, and hopefully her babies will recognize her when we get her back. So for shearing, the first step is to get rid of the belly wall. And she doesn't have a lot, and what she does have is all matted, and her so you say her teats are completely full of milk, so it's really hard for me to adjust them out of the way, and I really don't want to to nick her, especially right here. Yeah, she's trying to look. She's like, "What are you doing down there?" Um, she's just a really sweet ewe, and actually one of the smaller sheep that we were shearing in class. So I'm trying to get her belly wool all the way off the sides. And she's giving me love taps with those lovely lovely horns of hers. Okay, now we can get rid of the wool around her bum. This is called the clutch. And she doesn't have a lot, just a little on each side, so I'm taking downward strokes as opposed to across. Yep, and she's giving me love taps with those lovely horns of hers. Now, this is the first tip and the undermined. So up. She needs to straighten her leg out there. So you get your, your fist into the hip joint and push it straight. Wow. Walking her around a little bit. So she's laying fully on one hip and shows me the other. And this is where you can see her beautiful black fleece under there. Like I said, she's a Jacob. And she does have two sets of horns. And no, that second set is not growing into her. We did, we did look at that. And she's gonna have the end trimmed. The farmer's gonna take care of that. So, she's a pretty healthy ewe. Okay, I'm doing the undermined, giving that uh, swoop up the backbone. Making sure her tail's all cleaned off. Yeah, and there I'm being told, uh, hey, you should take one more swoop on this. She'll be happy if you do. And try not to get horned in the boobs because that's not, not, not the greatest feeling. And there I'm like, oh yeah, there's her hip joint. It's hard to tell from under all that wool. So if you see someone shear quick, easy, and effective, you know they've done it for a while, and they know the anatomy of the sheep. Okay, now I'm just cleaning off her head a little bit. She doesn't need much. And since she's right there, just tuck into the neck just a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna sit her up and do her, her neck. And she does not like her neck messed with. So I'm getting that first swipe there. And we're a little bit matted up. So I'm just gonna, yeah, bad habit, setting down, rip it through, and realizing watches are not the greatest thing ever. Okay. Got the blades going again. And working on this haircut. Taking care of the neck and that top shoulder. Her fleece is pretty tight, so it's taking me a little longer. Especially since this is the first shearing school I've ever taken, and so I'm still working on the sheep handling skills, let alone the sheep cutting, you know, shearing skills. Yep, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Really happy she's one of the smaller ones. You can see in the background there's like a 170 pound you back there. All right, now I got her hip cleaned off and her shoulder cleaned off. We're just gonna take care of that. What do they call the short blows? So it's a bit by her belly, working up the back of the barrel. It's just like black velvet now. She is really pretty. So let me hold her head a little bit. Her 
her wool is pretty dang thick. There we go. Working on that last of the long blows. I know I should have kept her head in my hand, but I didn't. Probably not in the best position for the uh, cutter anyway. I've moved a little further away than I should have from the down drop. Anyway, back up that last part of the neck. I'm not hurting her. I just have her head in my hands. She's okay. Like even that her white spatches have little black dots on them. Alrighty. I'm gonna lift her up a little bit and we're gonna finish cleaning off that neck. also where you clean off if there's wool on the cheeks or on their face which Jacobs really don't have much wool on their face I'm getting a handful of wool pulling her up okay we're cleaning off that second front shoulder how to hold her leg in some sheep have a lot of extra skin and you just grab and pull it she didn't have that much extra skin and I really didn't want to nick her and that piece of wool just did not want to get cut at all I'm working my way down to that last hip. And there's still a little bit of belly wool where it's, it's just matted down from her laying down. And it's been a really wet spring. So a little matted than normal. All right, now we're taking off the bit of the last hip. And this fleece is just gorgeous, pulling out like butter now. I'm just pulling on that little bit of extra skin, extending her leg out. Oh, there she goes. Now she's got her leg going out. She really wants to get back to her baby, so she's giving me a little bit of a wiggle. Give me a little bit more of a wiggle. But if I get my fist back into her hip, she's all settled again. few swipes getting off the back of her hip yep there we go she looks pretty clean you can see all her beautiful spots now I'm showing her where the door is this part of um, the stand that the holds offset because right over the axles. But she knows where to go and she leaves her beautiful fleece behind. And those are the baby lambs trying to go find their mamas.